I always wanted more out of life, so to speak. Being in and out of jail for a, a majority of my life, I didn't have the opportunities. My name is Jimmy Williams. I'm the owner of Urban Roots, Inc. My name is Doreen Poole, and I'm from Chicago, born and raised. Uh, I work for New Covenant Community Development Center. My name is Emmett Hasey. Uh, I'm a car service of the Chicago Transit Authority. My name is Eddie Bocanegra, and I'm the senior director for British Chicago. One of the number one barriers that I faced upon my release from prison was simply finding a, a, a job. Too often, even after people have uh, paid their debt to society, they're still held back and punished from pursuing employment, housing, and other uh, key supports to succeeding in this economy. Having a criminal record is a big barrier to getting a job. Having to disclose that record can really reduce the number of callbacks that a potential employee may get. My name is Heather Higginbottom, and I'm the president of the J.P. Morgan Chase Policy Center. If I was able to remove my background, a case that I committed when I was 18 years old that happened almost 30 years ago, doesn't matter if it's 50 years from now, I will always be um, looked at for that mistake. And that's what stops a lot of us from even walking into the door trying to get help or trying to get a job because we don't want to feel embarrassed or put down. We're parents, we're brothers, we're sisters, we're mothers. I'm someone's daughter. I'm not an ex-felon first. I'm a person first. When they look on your application, oh no, I can't let them work with you. Once a criminal, always a criminal. And that's not true. J.P. Morgan Chase eliminated the checkbox on an initial employment application that requires disclosure of a criminal record. It's really important because we're missing out on a huge talent pool. I'm in a position where I make sure that, you know, we hire individuals that, like myself, who have been through different circumstances and trying to change their life. Because you have to allow individual opportunity to show that they have changed. We know that one in three American adults has a criminal record, and that's about 70 million people. About 25 to 30 million of them have crimes that are eligible to be expunged but haven't done so. And that's because the process is so difficult to navigate. I'm thinking to myself, like, if I can't get this expunged, now what is my life going to be like? It dawned on me that I had a felony that is still with me maybe now 10 years later. The Federal Clean Slate Act is before Congress. It's bipartisan legislation that J.P. Morgan is fully supportive of, and it would ensure that for federal crimes, that if it's eligible for expungement, let's make that process easier. Let's make it accessible. We need more organizations in our community to reach out and let us know that they're here and they want to help. Second Chance programs really allow a person right to continue to build their uh, skill sets so they could be more marketable within the workforce. They've identified companies, organizations that are willing to hire people with backgrounds. They start working on your application, they start doing mock interviews, and they try to find out where you, you know, the areas that you need work in. The Second Chance Business Coalition, which J.P. Morgan Chase is the co-chair of, brings together companies from uh, across the American economy who are committed to doing more second chance hiring. I'm actually honored to be in a position where I can speak up and be a voice for the individuals that are voiceless. Give me an opportunity to prove myself and show you and the world that I can do this work. It's good for business, it's good for the communities we work in, and it's good for our economy. At JP Morgan Chase, we really believe that we're only as strong as the communities we serve.